So are you looking to relocate to the Lake Tahoe area and wondering how the heck do you choose where to live in the Lake Tahoe area? Well, I think a lot of people are, and we're talking about that today, so stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Rachel Capel with the Lake Tahoe Living Channel. If you want to know all things about the Lake Tahoe area, this is a channel for you. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and do all the things if you're getting value. We absolutely love helping people and families relocate to the area and find new places for them to live. Reach out to us with questions. We got answers and we got you covered when relocating to the Lake Tahoe area. All right, so you're thinking about moving on over here to Lake Tahoe and you're wondering, how the heck do I know where to go? How can I choose? what part of Lake Tahoe that I want to live in? It's a good question. And we're going to answer it right now. All right. So question to ask yourself. Number one is, are you going to be working here or are you going to be retiring here? Like, what are you going to be doing here? Because if you're going to be working here, you need to like know if you're going to be working remotely. Is this going to be a place where it's going to be like a vacation, second home, which is a lot of times the case for certain people living in this area you know so you need to know those things because if you're going to be working at the casino or if you're going to be working remote from the silicon valley who knows what your jam or deal is you need to know these things because if you have to commute you've got to take that to consideration i don't know where you would commute to i mean maybe like south lake or sacramento area <laughs> so it all just it kind of depends on your scenario because you need to know how far things are so, you know, ask yourself that question. Are you going to be working remotely here? Are you going to be living here part time? How is it going to work for you? Because traffic and getting around is not super easy in this area, especially in the winter time. So you're going to have to take that into consideration and see, you know, where you should land based on, you know, what type of job you're going to have and what you're going to be doing and just knowing how far you should be away from things. So that is number one. Number two, you need to know your salary because it is not cheap in this area. It is kind of a resort town like Tahoe area. So depending on what you're going to be doing, you need to make sure that you can afford either rent or buying a home and homes can range anywhere from single family residence in California side, anywhere from five, four, five, six hundred, depending on what you get all the way up to the millions. So if you're going to be in the Nevada side for a single family residence. You're pretty much looking at almost like a million dollars now. Uh, you might be lucky if you get a fixer in like the eight, nine hundreds, but I would just kind of plan for about a million bucks for a single family residence. Condos, townhouse is definitely cheaper, but that's going to be the Nevada area. So rents, I'm not super adept to the rents, but you can reach out. We can research it for it or go online, you know, and check it out. But yeah, it's definitely not cheap in this area. So you're going to need to know your salary and you need to make sure that you make enough. I don't know if you can have roommates, whatnot, but just know your salary and make sure you kind of crunch the numbers to make sure you can afford living in this area because it is not cheap. Like Arkansas, Oklahoma, I don't know where it's cheap, but <laughs> I don't know if it's anywhere super cheap anymore, but just take that into note. Know your salary before coming on over here. All right, number three, do you need to be close to an airport? Because the closest, biggest airport is probably going to be Reno. Right. And then you've got Truckee and a bunch of smaller airports that are not going to be as accessible. But Reno is going to be the biggest one that is above the lake over by Incline and, and on the Nevada side. So you can easily get down from Reno if you need to at the South Lake. But yeah, if you need to be by an airport because you're going to be traveling, maybe you're a CEO, maybe you've got a sales job, who knows what you're going to be doing. If you need to be by an airport, you need to make sure that you can commute pretty easily to get to the airport. Like I think that probably living in Incline would be the closest to the Reno airport, but you could still do it from South Lake. So it's just a little bit further. If you got to be by an airport, that is going to factor into where you want to land for convenience. So definitely check that out too. All right. Number four is, do you have kiddos? Are you going to have to put the kids in school? And just know not all the schools are created equally here and there is private. So if you want to go private, you can, but just make sure that you need to notate where you should land as far as the schools and where they're located. And if they're good enough for, you know, what your standards are. Um, and also if you have special needs, you know, like what's going on with that scenario? Like, do they have programs? Like there's a lot of things that go into with kids. And I've had plenty of questions about, 
you know, schooling and special needs and different things that, you know, programs that kids could have for if you have various issues or challenges when it comes to learning and special programs for the kiddos. So something to note is if you have to have those things, definitely want to reach out and find out, you know, what the options are around there. And, you know, if you don't have kids, you can just, you know, forget about that whole section and just have a good time and figure out where you want to go. But if you have kids, you know, I have a kiddo and you always have to take care of those little ones. Make sure they've got the best for them and make sure you're taking care of all of their needs. So that is definitely something else you need to consider when moving on over here. All right, number five, do you want to live by the city or do you like the suburbs or do you like completely remote areas because we got a lot of that in Tahoe. It is pretty remote up here and you're not gonna get a bunch of big cities. South Lake will probably be the biggest poppin' most crazy area of the lake, but you're not gonna get a ton of like suburbs and city life here. It's very much a vacation, enjoy the mountains, remote kind of location. So you've gotta decipher what is right for you if you want a little bit more activity, maybe South Lake is gonna be your place or you know the West Shore. If you want a little bit more remote, maybe you go a little bit north, go into Incline, Sand Harbor kind of area or Carnelian Bay. It's just whatever you fancy. You gotta think about what you want. And even like Donner Lake, you can be closer down to um, kind of the cities and the action down there. So something to just note. And if you wanna be a hermit and be by yourself up in the trees with the bears, you got it covered in Tahoe. It's no problem finding that. So just have to ask yourself all of the different questions that you may have to take into consider before coming on over here. All right, until getting onto that, number six is, are you a nature guy or girl or city person? You know, if you're a city, you probably don't want to come to Tahoe. Maybe you moved to Sacramento, Rockland, those areas, and just skirt on up here when you want to come and get the trees and have like, you know, a little bit of respite from the cultured life. Or, you know, if you're a super nature hiker, skier, snowboarder, kayaker, paddleboarder, Tahoe's for you. So just ask yourself, like, what is it that you really want? And, you know, before moving here and buying a place or renting for a long time and being committed, you might want to think about that first before coming on over and relocating because Tahoe can be a bit remote and it can be isolating at times, especially in the winter. So you just have to really be aware of that and um, figure out if you, you know, what your jam is and what is important to you. So if you really want to be by a city, you might want to reconsider or kind of go South Lake area or I don't know, Truckee, Donner. Those are kind of bigger cities. So just something to look into. And of course, we're always happy to have a conversation to help you figure it out. And number seven, lastly, you got to be prepared for the crowds and all seasons pretty much winter and spring and summer you're gonna have tourists so you need to be prepared and know what that means when tourists come if you are a remote kind of person that likes having that kind of simple life like living on your own not too much traffic or craziness just know winter is going to be pretty crazy and busy and summer a lot because people love lake tahoe for summer they come up here to go skiing and snowboarding and they stay because the summers are amazing so just some note, you're gonna have a lot of traffic and a lot of people when it comes to like, you know, the big city, especially 4th of July and Incline Village, forget about it. I mean, let's just put it this way. There's hardly any parking at the railies when people come in town for 4th of July. It's really, really crazy. So you gotta take note of that and just be aware and figure out what is right for you. All right, so there you have it. Things to think about and consider and how to help you choose where to live in the Lake Tahoe area. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to click that like button, smash the subscribe button and reach out with questions because you know what? The only thing that's missing in this beautiful Lake Tahoe area is you and your beautiful new home and having all the friends and family come out to visit and have a great time in this sunny, gorgeous, beautiful area of Lake Tahoe. Until the next video, guys, we look forward to seeing you and have a great week. Bye.